Again, we witness another one of my finest moments in battle. This one is called Fugax Saves the Colony, Part 6. That's not the way we learned it in school. And how come we don't see you in any of these paintings if you're such a great big hero? Okay, kid, let me see your permission slip. Teacher already collected them. You know, you're being a real pest. What do you expect from an ant? As I was saying, the Chamber of the Ages was built to commemorate the colony's history and to honor my numerous feats of heroism, bravery, and... Ah, oh, yes, the day I single-handedly brought down the Cloud Breather. Yet one more of my finest... As I recall, you did have a little help. In order to know the true history of our colony, you must know the story of Lucas Nickel. Yes, he was once known as the Destroyer. But that was before he was brought before the Queen's Council to answer for his crimes against the colony. Sentencing was handed down by the Queen herself. What did the Queen decide? That Lucas Nickel had to live and work in the colony and learn our ways. That he must become an ant or he would never go home. Did he ever go home? What kind of ant did he become? Was he a forger or a scout? How can a human become an ant? Silence! Lucas's story is full of challenges and adventure. Like the time he and I single-handedly saved the colony from... But it all started out trying to help him find his place within the colony. Soldier. Scout. Forager. Regurgitator. The hatching chamber is one of the most important places in the entire colony, Lucas. It's here that we determine the future foragers, scouts, drones, nurse ants, and even regurgitators. Let's see if there's a nurse ant in you. As if... Hova! You and Peanut get a move on. We've got 2,000 more births to get through today. Quickly, Lucas. Grab the pupas. And be sure to protect them from any harm that may come their way. You'll need to move quickly. These pupas are the future of the colony. And what if I don't care what happens to the colony? Then you will never become an ant and you won't ever go home. All right, all right, I'll bring back some pupas. Do I get to go home now? You heard the Queen, Lucas. You can't go home until you become an ant. You just need to find your place within the colony. And I need to become an ant because... Because you've brought nothing but chaos and destruction to our colony in your human form. It's time you gained a new view of things. Not that I think a human is capable of this. And what if I don't want to? There are other options. Like what? How does dissection appeal to you? So, uh, tell me, Hova, how exactly does a kid go about becoming an ant? Guess he's not a big science fan. By learning our ways, Lucas. And acquiring our traits. Like lifting ten times your weight. And by learning how to work as a member of a team. Not to mention climbing walls. No easy task for a human. Sounds like a lot of work. You're right, it will be. So let's continue. Gather around, young scouts, while I prepare you for your mission. Uh, Fugax? There's only me. 
Yeah, yeah, right. So, pill bugs. Pill bugs everywhere. Lucas, we're on the brink. Isn't this exciting? What do you want me to do about it? I want you to win one for the colony and clear those bugs out. Will it get me home? You do the job. I'll put in a good word for you with HR. Predator bugs have infested the caterpillar fields. So? Who cares about a bunch of caterpillars anyway? We do, Lucas. The entire colony depends upon the herd as an important food supplier. Yes, a food supply that you have done great damage to with your garden hose and careless stomping about, Destroyer. Zock, his name is Lucas. He'll always be Destroyer to me. So how about it, Destroyer? How would you like to do some good for the colony for once by helping us clear the predator bugs? What's in it for me? Always looking out for himself, typical human. Patience, Zock. Patience. Complete this mission by defeating the predator bugs and you'll receive a special reward. One that will help you get home. Well then, bring on the predators. on the way over. He told me these are the parts for a weapon. A larva silk squirter. Cool. Correct, but not cool. I've decided it would be unwise to give a weapon to someone named the Destroyer. But my name is Lucas! How do I know you won't use the weapon on the colony? Zach, you know a larva silk squirter does no harm to ants. Besides, you made a promise. What kind of example would you be setting if you broke your word? A very un-ant-like example, I'd say. And I'd say he's coming along quite nicely, wouldn't you, Zock? All right, all right. Black Peel! You're a good ant, Zock. Hard on the outside, but soft on the inside. Peanut, after your attacks as the Destroyer, our food supplies are dangerously low, and these earwigs are moving in on our last remaining food resources. Let me guess. You want me to show my foraging skills and gather food for the colony? Right. Grab all the sweet rings you can before the earwigs clean us out. Team and Blue Team, like everything in the colony, foraging is a team effort. In this test, each team must act as a single unit to avoid obstacles and complete the course. No ants get left behind. First team back wins. Lucas, you're on the Blue Team. But I work better alone. Ants don't work alone, so if you want to become an ant, you better become a team player. And you, with the crooked mandibles, suck in that thorax. Zock, that larva silk squirter is great. How about fixing me up with another weapon? Well, sure, Lucas. Go on out to see what you can find. What exactly am I supposed to be looking for? Pieces for a dart bow scattered all over the garden. Simple task, really. Not dangerous at all. Great, I'll meet you in the lab. Sure you will, Destroyer. Getting the hang of this. Zock, how could you have sent him to the cactus garden? What do you mean, Hova? Lucas is just a young pupa, beginning to learn our ways. You know very well how dangerous it is out there, Zock. I do? You're trying to get rid of him, aren't you? Yes, that's right. Because the sooner we're rid of him, the better off we'll all be. Rid of who? One dart bow, please. You heard him, Zock. One dart bow. One dart bow coming up. Black Peel! Thanks, Zock. You're a real pal. Yeah, a real pal. Krila, where have they gone? They were told not to wander off. Relax, Hova. They're around here somewhere. We'll find them. 
Find who? Several young ants wandered off. Like, I guess with everything else, you think it's my fault too. No, it's not your fault. But we need you to help. Yes, remember that whole teamwork thing? No ant gets left behind. All for one and one for all. Okay, all right, I'm on it. I'll go find the lost ants and bring them back. Okay, Zoc, I know you don't like me very much. <laughs> Doesn't like you? He can't stand you. In fact, I'd say he hates your guts. He'd like to see you turned into a science experiment. He wants to take your esophagus. Fugax, can I have a minute here, please? Oh, uh, sure. Like I was trying to say, Zoc, I'm up for any challenge you're willing to give. a boy, Lucas. Spoken like a true scout ant. Any challenge, huh? How would you like to go into the glass garden? No problem. What am I collecting this time? The parts for a seed bomb. Ooh, sounds dangerous. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're trying to hurt me. He may not be much of an ant, but he's one smart kid. Stand back, Destroyer. This one may go boom. Black Teal! So tell me, how does it work? I'm sure you can figure it out, Destroyer. Just make sure you do so far away from the ant mound. Have fun with your seat bomb. Okay, kid. We got ourselves a situation on hand out here. But I don't want you to panic, you got it? Don't panic! Got it. Good. So what's the situation? Mm, what situation? The one you don't want me to panic about? Um, um, uh, situation. Situation. Uh, wasps! Wasps are attacking our caterpillars, and we gotta protect the herd! Come on, Lucas. You gotta be brave, valiant, vigilant, all the V-words, etc. I'm behind you all the way, kiddo. Way, way behind you! Come, brothers! For Queen and Colony! Wow, did you see him? I mean, Lucas made a boom and then a buzz and then I flew away, just the way I taught him. Well, Destroyer, you may be fooling the others into believing you have ant potential, but you're not fooling me. I saw the stunt you pulled, leaving Hova to fend for herself against the wasps. But I can explain everything! Explain? I don't want you to explain anything! I want you to show me that you possess something other than cowardly traits by heading into the spider's lair! And do what once I'm in there? Survive. Like an ant. Or not. You're not afraid of a few spiders, are you? You're required to face the danger, is it? If it doesn't get any harder, then I just might doze off. Hova, I'm sorry for what happened back at the glass garden. You did nothing wrong, Lucas. I didn't need your help back there, but I do now. Sure. Anything. Just say the word. Several ants have been lured into the mist traps. Ants who get trapped in these mists never return. I need you to find them and lead them to safety. You don't have to ask twice, Hova. I'm all over it. <laughs> I want to tell you, Lucas, good. you're doing a great job so far, top-notch. But looking ahead, things could get a little dicey out there, a little choppy, a little dangeroso. 
Dangerous, huh? Why is that? Are you gonna be giving me a hand? Hardy, har, har, Lucas. Very funny. No, things are getting dangerous because we've got ourselves another bug infestation. And you need me to go in there and clear them out, right? Yeah, but no worries, because I've got your back all the way. Well, that makes me feel much better. Lucas! Hey, Lucas! I could use a little help over here. No worries, folks. No worries. Fugax is here to save the day once again. Uh, Lucas? Hey, Lucas! I could use a little help out here! Everything's good to go. I made the call. The exterminator won't be coming. What's an exterminator? What's a call? Never mind. The point is we're safe to go back to the ant mound. We better hurry before Zok finds out we're here. But we haven't found any sugar crystals. Yes, wasn't that the reason we came? Oh, yeah! Right this way. Destroyer, you knew that going into the human's nest was forbidden! Yes, but I can explain! I don't want your explanations! You are a threat to every ant in this colony, especially to Hova! I want you to leave the colony and never return! But I would never do anything to hurt Hova! Or perhaps you would rather take this matter up before the Council. At this point, they might be willing to give dissection a try. Where is he? Zok, what have you done with Lucas? 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 Huh, that's weird. Well, he's probably off destroying some other poor, unfortunate colony. You know how they are, destroyers. Where is he? He's gone. Disappeared. Poof! Clacked heel! He was a danger to all of us. He's blinded you, Hova! No, you are the one who's blind. You are so consumed by your hatred for the humans. You only see what you want to see. I see a young pupa, a human, learning our ways, becoming a part of this colony, becoming an ant. But he won't survive a night alone in the wild. Hova, I... I did, I did it for you. For the good of the colony. You did it for yourself. Hova, let me explain. I don't want your explanations. I want you to show me that you are an ant worthy of your name. The important thing is to remain calm, ladies. Remain calm! We must not panic! I'm calm, Creela. How about you? Calm as can be. Because with panic comes confusion. And with confusion, I... Wait a minute. What did you two just say? We're calm. We're calm. You're calm? How can you be calm? That croaker just swallowed Lucas and Zock. He just whipped out his big ugly tongue and went... <laughs> Relax, Fugax. Relax. And breathe, big fella. It helps. Zock has a plan. Yeah, and a big piece of alka root. Lucas and Zock should be out of that frog in no time. Yeah! Praise, Praise the, the mother. mother! Ugh, thanks, Zock. Save your thanks for later. You've got a frog to battle right now. Unbelievable, Lucas. Unbelievable. I couldn't have done it better myself. Now that I believe. Listen, Lucas, I'm in a big jam and I need help. I sent some scouts into the house a while back. Told them about the sweet rocks? Let me guess. They haven't come back. Caught by the widow's web. Think you could go in there and see what you can do? All right, Fugax. I see you're not such a big fan of dissection either.
Lucas! Hey, Lucas! I think maybe it's time you stop having my back. Yeah, well, I think you need to get me out of here. <laughs> you got my vote for end of the year. Fugax Lucas, where have you been? We've, uh, been out saving the day. Well, you're not done yet. A number of young scouts have fallen into the spider holes. They were seen running from the house. Care to tell me what they were doing there? You explain, Fugax. I've got work to do. So, Krila, tell me, is anyone currently watching your back? Tell me, Fugax, has that line ever worked for you? Well, it's actually the first time I've tried it. How'd I do? Time to go back to the drawing board, Fugax. Quite a night, Lucas. Truly ant-like. How'd you like to take on another mission? Sure. What do you want me to collect this time? Fire crystals. What kind of weapon can you make me with fire crystals? No weapon at all. I need fire crystals to make the potion that will return you to normal size. The Ant Mother is here. The Ant Mother is here! Who's the Ant Mother? The one who's come to save us. That one is not here to save you. That's the Cloud Breather. How do you know that? Because I'm the one who brought him here. You've made a very wise and mature decision, young man. I will return shortly with gaseous vapors and pungent sprays to rid the pests that befoul your days. There's only one way to bring down the Cloud Breather. We must cut him down to size. The same potion used to shrink me can be used against him. But the Cloud Breather is a giant. How will we ever be able to deliver the potion into his ear? We can ask the wasp for help. Silence! We're all in this together. Lucas, find the wasp leader and tell him your plan. I'll tell you what, why don't we discuss this so-called cloud breather situation over lunch? Oh. Well, why do I have a feeling you don't believe me? Because I don't. Cloud breather! Sir, the East Nest! Totally destroyed! So, how about we postpone that lunch? Climb aboard. Looks like we've got ourselves a battle to win. Oh. My butt! Oh! I'll be back! Could this you is the cloud breather has been vanquished! Gone forever! You did it, Lucas! You really did! And no one was harmed! I only did it for the colony. I... I never thought you could do it. I was wrong. You have become... an ant. No longer shall he be known as Lucas the Destroyer. From this day forward, he is Rokai the Ant. Be sure to take this at a safe distance from the mound. Of course. I wouldn't want to cause any destruction to the colony. 
glad to hear it. I must admit, he really did become one fine ant. And a pretty good human as well. <laughs>